Unskilled debaters often claim to have proof of a creator. Their equally unskilled counterparts claim to have proof that there is no God. But science, at least as far as this recording, has not found a way to prove that there is or is not a creator. A theist that claims that there is a God must be ready to cite evidence on which that claim is based. Two, any atheist who is worth his or her salt knows that to say, there is no God, is to make a claim. It's no different than saying there is no life on other planets or there is no hydrogen at the end of a specific chemical reaction. It's not the same thing as saying, I don't know. If one makes a claim, they bear the burden of proof. Now, until science has developed a provable God test... Claiming to have proof either way is something that's reserved for the unskilled debater. Now this brings us to something that presents a unique problem for fundamentalist atheists. Faith. Now it's important to note that I did not say a problem for all atheists, but for fundamentalists. Now while it's not uncommon for a theist to say he or she has Faith based on evidence. Faith is a word not usually accepted by atheists. An agnostic need not use the word at all because his or her position is that they don't know, so they have nothing to prove. There's no belief that demands evidence. But for the fundamentalist atheist, that is, someone who says, there is no God, they either accept the faith label for their belief, or they have to be put in the not defensible position of having to prove that there is no God. The most common way for fundamentalists to shift the burden of proof to the other side is through an argument from ignorance. Now this is a logical fallacy. It's also known as uh, argumentum ad ignorandum. Now this is a two-edged sword. Now one edge, if you will, in quotes, of the sword is the idea that something is truth because it has not been proven false. But the other edge of that sword is the idea that something is false because it has not been proven true. Now, the atheist may say there is no God because no one has proven there's a creator. The theist may say there is a God because no one has proven the absence of a creator. The burden of proof is tossed back and forth in online debates by fundamentalists who only acknowledge one edge of that sword. The claim that one can prove there is no God is often made when the arguer actually means they can prove that some interpretation of Scripture is false. Now, these are two very different things and something worth further elaboration. Suffice it to say that without a laboratory God test, the claim made by those on both sides of the argument is false. False.